Hey, <laughs> how goes it? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Pickens. For those of you who didn't know that and are new on over here, I am trying to post twice a week. Um, failing at it, but that is the goal. And my channel is centered on lifestyle, vlogs, beauty, randomness, hot mess, adulting, question mark, all those things. All together to make a Jeff and Pickens production. So thanks so much for coming on over. Don't forget to don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified each time I put up a new video. But this is a unboxing video. Um, if you did not you should watch my Houston vlog that was put up last week for when I went to celebrate my friend's 24th birthday and I went to the mall and did a little financial damage, a little uh, non-advised shopping, but it was great. It was my first time ever going into a designer store, unless you count like Michael Kors. I don't really count. Of course, that much, but you know what I mean. First, I'm going into a designer store and making a purchase with my own money um, that I've worked for, and I'm pretty happy about that. So, as a uh, disclaimer before watching this, if this is not uh, something that you're into, that is designer um, pieces because you think that that's ridiculous, why would anyone have to pay for that kind of uh, situation, then that's cool. Click out or stay in and parody this shit. Drink some wine with this shit. Talk about how this is ridiculous and why anybody with some kind of money is silly with this shit. But like, get a view though with it, ha. Ah. Um, but also, um, as a, another to that, for people who are like, why I've just been that much, don't ever, ever get it twisted, confused, or mutilated. I believe in dupes as well. So I will definitely be reviewing dupes on my channel because I want to step up my Instagram game, my fashion game outside of Instagram. And I like the look of designer goods. I do not like the price. So I'm gonna be a mix and matcher. Sometimes I'll have the nice and the good good and sometimes I'll have it for a fraction of the cost. But come close, come close, come close, come close, come close. She still pays her rent though. She still uh, has money in the bank though, savings and uh, thinking about her future though, making investments though. So if you ever wanna come for a bitch <laughs> because she is buying a dupe, evaluate your life, see what you can afford, see what investments you're making, and then we can talk. But until then, let me do me and you do you. And if you're into this video and you're into a hustle and grind and a mix and match and doing things on your accord, stay with it to stay tuned. Let's get to it. Ah! All right, so we're back. This is so much. Uh, what do we want to start with, y'all? Let's start with... Um, this Gucci, Gucci, give me a thumbnail. And a little story on this is I've wanted this since maybe two years from now. Last year I thought I was gonna get it for my 21st birthday when I was in Vegas. Didn't happen because of situations. But this year was the year to also get it. It was the secret gift. The gift that I did not think that I was gonna, <laughs> it was a secret to myself until my feet walked into the store. Um, but yeah, we're gonna unbox it. So, y'all see the ribbons coming off. She's looking fresh. She's looking nice. Ooh. Yeah, y'all. I've had these for the past week and a half now, almost two weeks. Almost two weeks, and I have just not opened this because I wanted y'all to see it um, in live time. So I'm trying to keep this on camera so that y'all can experience the unboxing. All right, and so. We have the Gucci tape that makes me, okay. This ain't beautiful. Okay. So, I don't know if you can focus in. A little much. It's all white on white. This is not really too much. By the bag, you should be able to tell <laughs> what it is, what it is, what's good. <laughs> Cut the joke. In the uh, so it is. But, um, y'all, so excited about this. Fashion game, y'all can't ever handle it. But yeah, she got a 
Gucci belt. Yeah, I did it. Did it, look at that. Beautiful. And I need to take this little thing off because he had an entire try on in the mall to figure out which belt I could fit. I was getting way too big of a belt. I forgot what number this is, but this is what, you know, I'm all about trying on. <laughs> kind of, if I can figure out how to get this going. Okay, y'all, clearly you're not gonna see a video where I actually get this on. Boom, and then we'll put it in like that. Ooh, ooh, imagine this with an outfit that this belongs on. Hey, 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 hey. But yes, Gucci belt. You've seen everyone and your mother with it. And so I thought that I would get it too. Not because of your mother or your friends or um, the cool Insta baddies, but because I thought it looked like a legitimately good piece. Ooh. The receipt. The receipt. And so a belt like this will set you back. So before tax, it was $450. And then after tax, it was $487.13. Let's start with the big box. Come on over here. I don't know if y'all are excited as I am, but this is, we're separating the boys from the men. I retied this because I have had to, I had to travel with this from Houston, so I had to take out, figure out how to fit in a suitcase, keep the box, put the box back together, somehow figure out the ribbon, put the bag back in. It's been a long day but big boy but happens Lift it up magnetic dust yes are you filming no it's not me I'm filming a video okay Dust bag. Ooh, did I get makeup on it? So cool. Did not. Keeping these boxes. But this is the dust bag, and probably have the, this little female that I'm about to pull out. But I've got the never full MM in the. Gosh, I was really gonna Google how to fully pronounce this correctly, but I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna write it here on the screen. But it's the Evine Debonair <laughs> um, print. And I'm trying to see yeah, the authentication card I put in here. Um, like, I'm just not gonna talk about how really pretty it is. Now, I had to travel with this as a carry-on in the Gucci bag. So it's a little wrinkly and I'm not really giving it its time to breathe. Really big pro tip is, and I'm gonna insert the search on um, Instagram here while talking to you, is to get a um, bag sculptor uh, for the bottom of your bag so that when you're putting stuff in the bag, it doesn't create that like, that droop that's like really ugly and just makes everything level um, and secures the shape and integrity um, of the bag. As well as I'm going to get a bag organizer um, just so that the more that I put things, you know, in the never full, I want to make sure that everything is secure and organized while it's never full. And to make sure to do that, I'm just going to get that organizer also on Amazon. I'm going to insert that scroll here if I'm not already and I'm pretty excited it looks um, a little like really plasticky but that's what um, via my searches that the bags usually look like and do initially um, but because this is real leather you gotta give it time to really age and mature and the more kind of like 
that beautiful kind of creamy leathery texture will kind of come through and that just kind of proves to you the real authentic you know bag is that it does that over time thing as well as the leather straps here that they will stop feeling or looking as stiff um, another cool feature about the bag that i learned is that on the sides here you can cinch them in for way to have the bag so just it becomes like a whole other purse right so maybe like an evening wear after work to turn this into more of like a going out occasion but just another way to do purse so that's pretty cool so i'll let you know so inside it comes with a card from the sales associate as well as a receipt and the sales associate her name was shelly shelly i've been calling her jennifer <laughs> this entire time but uh shelly was so nice from the houston store so if you are potentially even watching this or if you find out about this you use on the line i want you to let you know that you were my first uh sales associate to ever help me with a designer purchase so thank you so much it's been a cool time uh learned a lot about the feeling of money slipping through my pockets very right quickly for one thing so that was pretty cool but um the price of the never full one thousand three hundred and ninety dollars and that's before tax I'm not sure it is the next day because my camera does not want me to be great, so I think that I was talking about here. I'm not this person who knows how to do unboxing. I'm brand new. Um, but yeah, this is the purchase. This was not to plan. But yeah, like I said, the charm was way too much money. $400, <laughs> dummy I am not. And so I wanted just to make this bag. You can already see how after a night it was doing a little bit better. But I wanted something to make this bag pop. I know that y'all really just want to see the bag and not me. So let me just give it a moment. Let me give it a moment. Let me give it a moment. Are we having a moment with the bag? Cool. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention before I show the other piece is that this um, closes. It doesn't have a zipper. I have bags in there to kind of get the shape going. But it has this like chain piece. And what you do is that you connect it like so. And so now that's the best kind of security for it. Um, I don't know what my next Louis Bouton is, but it probably is gonna be a dupe. Um, but like there's nice dupes, like $300 dupes that like look pretty darn good that your girl's gonna get. But um, yeah, so I wanted to make this look a little bit prettier. I wanted it to make a little bit more sense. And so, I got a scarf. And it's so cute. Look at it. It says Louis Vuitton. It has two different ways. One has the LV sign, which does not. Authentication. We not. I don't know why I'm showing tags as authentication because dupes can do that too. But yeah, this is the scarf. And then I'm going to tie this on the bag to show you should I tie it on the side no I'm gonna tie this let me back up so that you can it doesn't really mean that you see this but I'm gonna tie this I had a really good bow tie yesterday because the world does this thing where you can't repeat things twice we're gonna pray we're just gonna pray that it does it again that I do it cute enough. Ugh, already disappointed. Okay, but and then this is what it. A scarf like this. Not gonna lie, y'all. The receipt is like on the ground, so I don't really feel like getting it. But a scarf like this. It's going to set you back. I think it was $180, I know, for a scarf even, but the charm was $500, and in my googly-eyed mind, and being in the store, and being like, oh my god, I'm purchased on a purchases, I really just wanna go off. This was the largest that I could go. It was between that or the key clay. Not the key clay. I want the key clay, though. 
the um, coin purse. I'm forgetting what the Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton version of phrase is. But that was like $200, so we'll leave the scarf for that. They didn't have the key coin purse, so here we are. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing, watching nighttime turn to daytime. I am very appreciative of my ability to um, get something nice for myself. I understand that it comes with some privileges, i.e. that we can all work hard, but some people who work the hardest are still living paycheck to paycheck because they don't have like either the family support or their families are also hustling and grinding to make a certain means. It means that they can't like necessarily afford a $1,000 purse and so I have to recognize that I do benefit from some kind of privilege with like a family that is allowing for me to build and save and grow um, and focus on my career or focus on kind of the future and so with that it frees up some resources if you are into the mess literally the mess um, and into someone who just a little bit too much is gonna say the words that nobody else has the cojones to say I'm right here. I'm right here all day long. Um, so hit that subscribe button and look forward to the video that I put up tomorrow. Also, the waves are still intact from last night because I know you saw them. And I will see you next time.